Uh, first of all, I want to introduce what's the Spanish Youth Council, if probably not of the people, a lot of people here will know it. It's a platform for youth organization and regional ones in order to create participation for young people, and to know what the young people is demanding and what they are asking, and in order to have relation with the administration, with the government, or any other kind of uh, institution, in order to have better conditions for young people. Okay, um, so we already hear the situation is not very good, so I'm not going to be different talking about Spain. So uh, the Spanish Youth Council uh, makes this uh, report every three months about what's the situation of um, housing and employment in Spain. This is only the one about housing, and you pro probably can check all this data and information in our website if you are interested. We have uh, as well the information in English, but uh, it's not so much as uh, you can find in Spanish. Okay, um, when we talk about the situation in Spain, uh, and we talk especially about the situation of young people, I will, pro, uh, I will want to make a little introduction about what's the situation before and how we uh, get to this situation. No? And how the data is really, really more dramatic in the young sector, in the youth sector, than in general population, even in, if the general population has already really dramatic situation. <coughs> if we go to the growth in the economy in Spain, from 2000 and 2007, it was quite related more than any other country to the speculation in the housing market. And that creates two direct problems, uh, especially in the youth sector. First of all, it was an exponential increase of the price of the house, uh, making it impossible to, uh, for a young p uh, person to afford a house without creation a huge step which was impossible for, for young people. And as well, we have a huge generation who has a huge rate of living educational system. Right now, the situation of living education system is around 40% and was even more in the, in the late years uh, because they were living for the, to work in the construction sector, which was huge salaries according to the other salaries, and, but it was in a very bad uh, conditions. Uh, so from 2008 to this year, we have around all the world the economical and financial crisis, but even war in Spain because we we face the finish of our housing bubble. So a lot of banks were involved in this housing market and that make a, a huge rate of debt. Uh, so that increased to a huge rate of debt in the private sector as well and in the family economies. So that takes Spain to be the fourth country in the world with more ratio of debt if we take into account not only the public debt, which is not so high, with the private sector debt and the family's debt. So that takes us Spain to a huge decrease in our, in our economy and takes us Spain to 23% of unemployment in the general population. But in, <coughs> which is really inter interesting is that, okay, we have a really uh, decrease of our economy and we have a really high uh, unemployment rates, but the price of the house only uh, has been uh, getting below only a 20% in the last four years. So it was not really this uh, huge decrease in the price of houses, even it was a really a huge increase in the in the growth times. Uh, if we talk about the uh, situation of young people, the situation is even worse because we were already in crisis before the economical and fi financial crisis. Uh, before, uh, in the best moment of the economy of Spain, we have uh, we face around 11 percent of unemployment for people below 35 years old, and around 18 percent for people below 25 years old, which is the double of what. Uh, uh, the rates of unemployment right now, uh, which is right now the, the, the rates of unemployment for European young people in the middle of the crisis, and that was before of it. Uh, during these times of growth, uh, we have a, a, a growth of the economy, but the salaries of the young people remain really low. <coughs> and that means that, that a young person has to dedicate around 70% of the, of his salary in order to get a house in 2007, or to dedicate even a 82% of their salary in the case of 2008. So that makes it really impossible to, for young people to, to really try to emancipate. Um, with a really unstable labor market, especially if we talk about the youth sector, where the 60% 60 of, uh, of the employees who are created for young people uh, are temporary contracts. And we have the, of course, really low salaries. So that makes the rate of unemployment who takes increase with this uh, finish of the growth of the economy to 50% if we talk for people below 25 years old 
and we are talking about 28% of unemployment for people under thi uh, 35 years old. So with all of this situation, what led Spain right now in the situation for the young people is that we have the average age of living is 29 years old in Spain. So that means 50%, 55% of the people under 35 years old is still living in their uh, parental house. They are, cannot face the possibility to even try to uh, have a house when they, they don't have even a, even a job. So it's, it, that makes to another, of course, health problems and mental problems to a lot of people. But uh, the situation here and what was the policies who the government tried to take in order to change the situation. Uh, if we talk about employment, the situation or all the policies who are facing down in, in general is trying to have more temporary contracts and to have even uh, worse conditions for young people who, okay, they will get, try to get a salary, but that, they, that didn't let them to have a house with this uh, incredible huge prices for housing even in the crisis. And the only other policies that uh, the last government take in order to facilitate the people to, to access to the housing was the emancipation basic income, which was around 200 euros, uh, who was on a direct uh, income for young people around 200 euros. Uh, but it didn't really affect the, the market because only affect the demand and not the offer. And right now, this even even this policy disappear. And the policy that we are facing for the next years is to try to increase our, and to make grow our economy uh, through another uh, housing bubble. Will will take us again for the same situation or even worse where we are already. And the problem is not the lack of houses because we have our around, as you probably already say, three million and a half empty houses. So I think that's what we. If, if we talk about what has to be the the proposal for the future and how how what was, will be the the change that we are asking for as a Spanish youth council, we have around uh, 100 proposals for youth employment and 100 proposals for youth housing uh, that you can see on our website. But I will probably uh, summary them because we don't have a lot of time. Uh, in order to have better conditions in, in the young sector about employment, because it's a huge difference with uh, with any other kind of uh, population. And as well to try to to promote the rental uh, the rent house because it's a really a <coughs> huge difference in in Spain according to to buy a house. So I will just say three of four of what of our proposals which will be uh, to create a public park of rental housing uh, which the cost doesn't exceed a 10% of annual income per person uh, to promote the use of empty housing through the creation of strong tax rates. Uh, in order to deceive and in order to make benefits for making available to the market. Uh, to mobilize a lot of public land uh, housing through the use of legal structure of the surface rights and the claiming of the ban on the sale of public land dotational or assignments of the new developments. So um, I will not take more time, probably you will have more questions and I will be love to try to answer them.